is up, Trainters? Ludo here with another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go. And today we are continuing the Celebi quest. We are also hatching eggs and catching, I think, two Entes. So today we should be completing part six of our Ripple in Time and moving on to part seven, the final part in catching and discovering Celebi. And then I also have just the plain field research to claim, but I'm pretty sure as soon as I claim it, I have another one to claim because I've held on to this for a minute. Along with that, as I said, we're gonna be hatching some eggs because a new event is starting today at one o'clock PDT. So what that means is now 7KM eggs are going to start containing Kanto regionals. Yes, you heard that right. You can hatch yourself a Mr. Mime, a Tauros, a Kangaskhan, or a Farfetch now. It is for a limited time, and it is because of the Ultra Unlock that we got for global researches that we did. So they announced a Kanto event starting today, and it's gonna increase Kanto spawns, the Kanto regionals are going to be available at 7km eggs, and the Kanto legendary birds are coming back in two raids. But not just that. Mewtwo is finally coming to raids. Starting September 20th, you can go out for a whole month and get your chance at finally challenging and catching the legendary psychic Pokemon Mewtwo. Super exciting, uh, first time it's ever been in normal raids, so a lot of people are really happy and a lot of people are disappointed because they feel like it loses its ex exclusivity and that it loses the hard work you put into it, and I just don't really understand that. Realistically, exclusivity was lost when trading came out, and your hard work is still your hard work. Don't let this cap that. But as I said, we have uh, eggs here to incubate. I went ahead and bought the great box. Uh, the ultra box, in my opinion, was crap. Okay, so our eggs are all incubated except one. So we're gonna walk and walk and walk and clear those eggs out. But before we do that, we are going to finally claim our last thing in Ripple of Time for Six. Claim our reward. Oh, I could have and should have turned on a star piece, but. Five silver pine apps, yay! Finally. This data is so helpful. Thank you. I'll use it to explore my theory. While you were in the field, I made more headway in learning about the mythical Pokemon, and it seems that its mere presence causes grass and trees to flourish. I think if you catch more grass-type Pokemon, this elusive time-traveling Pokemon will reveal itself. Let's catch 40 grass or psychic-type Pokemon, make an excellent curveball throw, and earn a gold Johto medal. So the Johto Medal, boom, instantly. Make an excellent curveball throw that'll be completed in these 40 catches. That is why we came down here to the fort. It is our hot spot and it does have the most activity for variety. So, don't know if we will complete this today. Plenty of raids around us, so, you know, gonna maybe do that for some XP and Stardust, but let's get to the walk-in, let's clear those eggs, and let's wait for one o'clock so we can fill it up with some hopefully regional eggs. Let's go.
officially 1 p.m. So the Kanto event has started. We should see, get away from me, B. I don't want to kill you, but please get away from me. Go away. Go away. Okay, we're safe from the bee. There's the details about the event, blah, blah, blah. And right there, we've got two of the Kanto spawns. So we need uh, more psychic types, so we'll catch this execute. Uh, so far, I believe we are almost at 20 catches of our 40. So we are on our way. I think this will make uh, 19. Seventeen. Oh wow. Oh wow. A wild chancy. Oh my gersh. Oh my gersh. And then a wild tangela as well. Yay. So it's looking out already to be uh, really good because we got a tangela and a chancy spawn. So those are super rare. That's really good to see. Oh, tangela disappeared. No to be popped yet eggs. And speaking of eggs, we're at 4.2 of 4.7 and 1.6 of 3.3. We will hatch those very soon. Voltorb replaced the Tangela. That's kind of bummerish. And then on the nearby, uh, you know, plenty of the Kanto spawns. So we are gonna actually end this episode here because I'm gonna record a separate episode for the egg hatchings and the Kanto event. So, three episodes coming your way. Well, two episodes coming your way. Three including this one. But we're about halfway done with uh, getting our Psychic and uh, Grass-type Pokemon. We will continue that. Uh, I'll stay here for a little bit more to finish hatching these eggs, and then we'll go home to open up some gifts and hopes to get some new KMs, new 7KM eggs, what am I saying? That could contain regionals. So. Please scroll down, give me that like. If you truly did enjoy this, maybe consider subscribing if you're not. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye.